Oh, look at that tool. Well, that's kind of slick. Priceless, man. You could probably rent those at a rental store, too. It's a little side cutter. Now that he's pushed everything up, I mean, if you don't have that, you, you put your stair tool down there and cut it, or you can cut the back, like, like how he's doing with his Bloody Mary cutter. have to have a other tool like that but that that was slick too then tuck away see so he he stretched oh maybe a, a inch, an inch of carpet in certain areas, see there, let me try not to stretch it as much just around the registers, we're hoping that the, the registers will still fit, what if, what if the registers would not have fit anymore, the trim, what would you have done? Oh, we'll talk about that oh. when we get to it. Okay. Better to easier Because we're only talking about two. This one, see this one here is, this one here is pretty far. See there? The trim is only so wide around this. So we'll see what's going to happen there. See, he's got a little, that's just a sheet rod blade coming out at an angle. And that's a tool, if you don't want to buy one, maybe you can rent one of those at the rental yard too. But if you're just going to do a repair, you don't necessarily need to have one of those. You do it the way he showed us before, taking the paddle, the stair, paddle, and your other cutter. Big room like this, these sure do pay off though, man. Can you <laughs> oh, imagine a whole house? Oh, you don't want well, to yeah. do the Bloody Mary deal. For, uh, well, yeah, for, for, some guys for just, installing it. Yeah, some, but some guys cart. don't have it. And you know, you might have seen it. Though. Oh, I've seen them. Just like that. Where they'll do it with that and it's and, and they've got it down. They know about where to, where to cut it. You got to know where to go. Yeah. Now, even though that's unethical to me, for me, there's no reason to cut into baseboard. I don't know oh, yeah, if you can't yeah, yeah, see yeah. any if you can't see it. Yeah, I've seen that happen too. What if you take out your shag carpet? The guy cut into your baseboard, but yep. it's not an issue because it's shag and it's covering the line. Now you go and put this in. Yeah, then you see it from the old install. Yep. See, he's already stretched the carpet here. That back piece protects it and cuts it. Still gives it enough a little bit and then finish it off with your stair tool. Nice job. Dude, it looks like you've done this before. Yeah, this is third a couple three times. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe three. Yeah, pretty good after a couple. <laughs> People always like to hear that one, huh? Yeah. Hey, Dan, how long have you been doing this? Yeah. Let's see. Uh, <laughs> Since a couple hours ago? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Or oh, here's how my boss used to do. He was a joker. He'd, he'd always say, get the customers, and he'd make a comment at some point. That he'd have, you know, by the end of the day, that he has to get the helpers back to the, uh, the what do they call that, the work program. Oh. <laughs> well, I gotta get the, hey, it's about five. I gotta get the guys back to the work program. <laughs> oh, what work, work program is that, Jerry? <laughs> you know the prison one. Yeah. <laughs> you got these guys from the prison? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I get all my best help from the prison. Free labor. He was the biggest joker by old boss. <laughs> so 
can you sit down on the job and do I the work? I got me a sit yes, down job. Yes, can. <laughs> I used to tell the guys, you know, when I, I like the sit down job. Yep. Off the stair tool. I've done miles of this until my hand went no. <sighs> okay, so he's gonna he's gonna keep doing that, and then we'll we'll look back on these registers and see what we're gonna do with that. And then he still has to finish this edge off over here, same way. Yeah, see this one looks like he might have to pull it up to there. And that, that piece there could go away as he's, as he's pushing it that way on that little section. Okay, little by little, get the right tools. And this is the little, the little guy. That's what I like to see. That. Never seen that before. And it hooks on. That's what he used on his stretcher. He just put that on the end. It hooked right there. Comes out. Hooks in there. That nice sharp hook. Like that tool. So how much was this? That wasn't too expensive, huh? What? The camera? No, the camera was about uh, 350 oh, or so. And the tripod was about $45. Yeah, I think... 400 bucks. You get a video camera and a tripod. So that's what I, that's what I use for all my videos. S9, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's got a bunch of editing features. Split screen, fade in, fade out on this phone. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's he's, got the best camera. He's it's, talking about a cell phone that he, he might get. Or, or is, is that the one? This is it. And it will do video. That's the best thing on the market right now. Which one is that? S9, Samsung. Samsung S9? And it's got good uh, video capacity and different things you can do with video and editing, right? Yep. So if you don't want to invest in a video camera and a tripod or something, you want to make some videos at home, try that. Samsung S9? Yes. Try that. And get some videos, put them up on YouTube, and away you go. Another tip from the carpet guy. Well, that's all I got for this time. But I'll be back with more videos. Not quite sure what I'm going to talk about next time just yet. But stick around. I'll find something to show you. <laughs>